Lynn, congratulations. Thank you, Alan. I have a few questions I want to ask you about your background. Uh-oh. First, I'd like to start off by asking, what individuals had the greatest influence on you and your wrestling career? Uh, two people stand out. One was Von Hitchcock, because he was a senior when I was a freshman at, at uh, Hayward High School, and my college coach, Sheldon Harden, who was inducted a few years ago. And Sheldon was a great influence on me, gave me a lot of personal advice. It was like a father to me in college. Yeah. Len, who, who is or was your idol? I would say Von Hitchcock because uh, he was just, he was a stud, you know. I mean, he pinned everybody. They had a move called the Hitchcock move. And when I first walked into the wrestling room and saw him wrestle, I said, I want to do that. And so I followed Von. And, uh, of course, we were in the same town, Hayward High School. And then he, went to, he followed me at Cal Poly the year I graduated. He left. But I've always admired the man for what he did, not only as an athlete but as a, a coach. How did you get started in wrestling? Well, I went out for sea basketball, and after the coach took one look at me, he cut me. So I said I wanted to do something. So I went next door and looked at gymnastics, and I, I didn't want to do those somersaults in the air. So I went around the curtain, and they were wrestling. I said, I want to try this. So I asked the coach if I could wrestle, and I, that's how I got started in 1951. Wow. What do you contribute your success in wrestling to? I think perseverance. I'm just the, the type of guy that uh, always wanted to do the best he could, whether it was on the mat or organizing a tournament or whatever it was. I just took a lot of pride in that, and it was something that was instilled in me again by Sheldon Harden. He says, if you're going to take on something, do it right, you know, and, and I've always tried to do that with everything that I've done. You certainly have. Thank you. Is there one outstanding situation or memory that you have involving wrestling? Yeah, I believe so. I, uh, I was fortunate to organize the first state tournament in 1973 at Cal State Hayward, and I ended up uh, having the semifinals. During the semifinals, I had two kids going at the same time, and both of them won to make the championship finals for the, for the first year of the state tournament. One ended up being a state champion, and that whole thing was just thrilling to me. It brought tears to my eyes. As a wrestler, is there one match that really stands out in your mind? Yeah, uh, I lost. Uh, but I was wrestling I a, a fantastic wrestler who you know, Russ Camilleri. Oh, yeah. And my job, it was Cal Poly versus San Jose State, and my job was don't get pinned. And fortunately, I wrestled uh, Russ five times, and I teased him about it, but the only thing I can claim was he never pinned me. He beat me every time. Yeah. And by, by winning that match, but, uh, by losing that match but not getting pinned, I was mobbed by my teammates and we won the match. So oh, that okay. stands out. Why did you decide to become a coach and official? Or both? Well, as a result of my high school experience playing football and wrestling and baseball, I, I was really interested in athletics and I admired my coaches. Back in those days, uh, I had really dedicated, committed coaches. And, and they inspired me. And so I went to Cal Poly as an electronic engineer major. I lasted one quarter, and I said, this isn't for me. And I, I talked the PE department head into going into PE because I really wanted to be in PE, but my dad talked me into trying engineering. And so I, I went into physical education, and I just loved it, and the rest is history. <laughs> if you could start all over again, what would you do differently as a coach, wrestler, or official? I don't really know that I do much differently, Al. I've been very successful with what I've done as a coach, as an organizer, as a, you know, just a wrestler. Uh, I wish I won more matches. I mean, I had a pretty good successful high school and college career, but I, I, you always want to win more. But other than that, I'm very pleased with what I've done. I think uh, hopefully my legacy will say that, that I've done a good job. Well, and so are a lot of other people very pleased with Thank what you've you. done. What would you like people to remember you about you? Well, possibly two accomplishments that I'm very proud of is starting the state tournament and starting the Wrestling Hall of Fame. Uh, both of them are very, very uh, thrilling to me to see the success of the Hall of Fame, to see the success 36 years now of the state high school tournament, and to be instrumental in organizing both of those is, is really a, a thrill that's something I cherish. What did wrestling contribute to your life? 
It's been my life. In fact, it's been my life now for 57 years. And uh, I have never missed a year of wrestling in 57 years, either as a wrestler, an official, a coach, participant. And uh, I just love it. And, and I think a lot of the fact that I can enjoy wrestling and participate in wrestling is I have a very understanding wife who's, who's really allowed yeah. me to do this. You know, we, we, uh, she really respects the fact that wrestling is my love, and, and she's been very supportive. Well, Lynn, that ends our interview, and I want to thank you for all your contributions. Thank you, Alan. Congratulations on being inducted. Well, thank you, and same to you when you were inducted. Very deserving.